Just have a look down your way. Just on the taxiway. And we're at a golf course. So there are trees at the end of this runway, so we're gonna we're gonna use our best rate, but we're gonna be very uh diligent about getting out of here. And it's actually a little uphill too, so you'll feel that. So feet off the brakes, center line, there we go. We're gonna need a little, there's the wind sock. It looks right down the runway, so we're probably going to get right off. You, can, you can go right now. So that wind, let's get back over here. Sorry. Um, what's happening there is the wind got your tail, pushed the airplane nose left, and now your wheels are dragging. The sooner you get that thing off the ground, the better your life is going to be. Okay, so we just made a departure, and the next leg of your flight plan, where is it? I lost mine. Oh. Bite me, huh? So you're actually on a direct heading to KBLM, is yeah, that? I see that. I was looking for it, I'm like, where is it? This last one would be a full stop, my last one. So... Yeah, things are looking pretty good. Your your track is 101. That looks pretty good compared to your DG. 105, actually, so that's not too hor horribly far off. And we're still climbing, so there's no sense in fixing it right now. And our desired track is 107. Our track is 108. So you're pretty much right on course to KBLM. And we got a little ways to go. So I would wait till you get established at a uh, cruising altitude. We'll do a cruise checklist, and then you can immediately begin your setup, get your frequencies, your ATIS. Some of the best times I've ever had have been flying up to New York, and you look out that window on a summer day, and that turnpike is like seven lanes on each side stopped, completely stopped for 20 miles, and you're just you're going 150 miles an hour up to Martha's Vineyard. You're going to be in Martha's Vineyard before they get to the um, Newark Airport, yeah. or even to the next rest stop, probably. Okay, so what do you think of that one? That's pretty good. So you had it all set up. Yeah. It's just when you get down to that runway, we're not we're not going to do this. We're going to do this, and then we're going to lift in those really small amounts. So we'll continue to work on that. Today's not a great day to. Runway eight, Penridge. To be doing the finesse part of the round out, but we'll we'll try a couple, see what happens. And we're already at 32 minutes. 32 minutes, yeah. So you can expedite this anytime you decide. Hey, let's just you know start boogieing back because yeah, we do. We do. We have to be back five. Yeah. So it might be uh, one thing you could do is. What's the rest of this flight plan Traffic look like? Caravan, left face, runway eight. Bob left down for 11 Yeah, I mean, it basically says we're not getting back till... Traffic still plane is one mile final, seven. Ten after five if we do this. We might have to do a shortcut somewhere. What can we take out? We definitely want to go in the direction. So did you really want to land at BLM? Is that your home airport or no, your Lakewood? No. I'm Lakewood. Maybe, uh, maybe Lakewood. we do like, maybe we head over that way, and instead of landing at KBLM, we cut the corner and we do a, see if we can do a landing at MJX. Okay. And then we'll cut a corner from uh, coil to ditch, and I think if we cut two corners, we ought to be able to uh, pull this off. Let me just see what... Um, Let's see what KFJX looks like. Yeah, we might be able to cut the corner and go... Actually, we can go over top of Lakehurst. Why don't we do that? Wings traffic, 06 Mike Lima is part of the disease. Wings. We just have to be a little careful. There's a restricted area in there. So... What is it? Uh, ground to 4,000 there? Uh, 2,600. So if we went up to 3,000 feet, we'd be in fantastic shape. So runway, best runway to land at um, runway six. So 
so that sucks, because we'd have to go all the way around, come in, land. We can probably try and do that, though. Or maybe we should try and do, what's the, what's the wind over at KVLM? Roger, short final, left off, full stop. You know what else I could do? I'd just text the next guy and tell him we're going to be 15 minutes late. So you got an 8 to 10 knot headwind landing on, oh no, crosswind, sorry. Yeah, we got a lot of crosswind at uh, KBLM on both runways. I think it's like flying W, it's just swirling all around. Why don't we, um, why don't we go toward KBLM? We'll cut the corner to avoid the restricted area. We can fly over the top of Lakehurst Naval Air Station will will overfly and enter a 45, or actually overfly and enter a direct downwind for runway six. We'll do a touch and go at KMJX. That's a nice long runway, and it looks like the wind is not so variable there. And then you can take off and head back. Three thousand. Hey, if you want to, I said we could climb above this set and see what it looks like. By the time we do that, we're gonna we're actually gonna be past here. So MJX, I think it's uh, one two two eight or one two two seven, right? One two two seven. So you can put one two two seven in the frequency box in the standby, and we'll get that set up. The ASOS AWAS three down there is. 119.875 when you're done. So you can go ahead and put that in. Yep. You can put 119.875 down there. Which one to? This one? Uh, no, that's comms. Uh, so, yeah, this one's a tuner. I'm sorry. How do I get it on this one? No, no, you're doing the right thing. So it's, it's 119. 875. And then hit the flip flop switch when you're done. And so this is a calm nav radio, so if you want to listen to the nav frequencies, you just touch the nav button down here. And if you want to get back to the calm frequencies, we just touch the calm button, which is right. This says calm up here, you see it? So these two buttons just change whether this radio is for nav or calm. I would say, are we legal right here, do you think? we got to be 500 below. Yeah, so let's, just because we do already saw that uh, C-17 at McGuire, yeah. uh, let's just make sure we're not the surprise that they encounter. Let's go, I mean, they all have TCAS and radar, but let's be legal on the way out here. So we can just go down to 2,800 feet or something. So we got to take a little power out to pull this off. Just come back down to the bottom of the green arc. And you just put your nose down just a little bit. We'll go back down to 2,800 feet. Unless you want to go on the top of this. It might be kind of interesting just to see what it looks like. Cause Have you been on the top of this before? Not lately. We'll do it someday when it's... We got a lot of time. We can go up there and fly someplace. Okay, so you're descending at 500 feet per minute. You're at 2,800. Let's go to like 27 or, oh, we're actually, sorry, we're going over Lakehurst. We got to stay at least at 27. All right. Yeah, so let's, let's hang here. This looks okay, right? Pretty close. I think by the time we do get to Lakehurst, we'll be, um, we'll be away from these clouds, I hope. We're to the north of Lakers a bit. And uh, Ocean County, 119.875. And I'm just going to put McGuire in here because we're going to be in their vicinity. That's 126. 475. And let's listen to McGuire until we get to MJX. There just might be something useful that they have to say. So that's Lakehurst Naval Air Station uh, at your 2 o'clock, right? Yep. yep. The Hindenburg Circle is at about 2.30 out there. That big, have you flown over that before? I've driven all through there. My friend is yeah. on the top there. 
I don't know if those hangers are like original dirigible they, hangers. They do. They have uh, a bunch of Fuji blimps in there the last time I checked. A bunch of what? Fuji blimps. Really? Yeah. So I think those hangers are actually from that era. I'm yeah. not sure. The big one on the left, that's the one intended for the Hindenburg. Wow. Pretty crazy. It's and then, uh, the tallest building in Ocean County. Really? Yeah. It looks big. I mean, you can see that from 50 miles away. And then there's another, um, there's three or five runways out there where they do the, they make the catapults for the aircraft carriers there yeah. and test them. They test them there. And yeah. that's pretty much what, Everybody I know that works over there is involved with uh, aircraft carrier catapult design. Okay, so the restricted area is on the backside of Lakehurst between Lakehurst and McGuire, so we don't have to worry about that one. We're going to be inside the alert area, which is no problem at all. We don't have to worry. You can fly over top of... Lakehurst Naval Air Station at 2,700 feet. There's no issue whatsoever. I very seldom see or hear anybody over there, but I know they use the airfield, obviously. Want me to start turning then? Yeah, you can if you want. We can go direct MJX from here. Okay. Yeah, as long as it says 2,600 and we're over flying the field, we're fine. As long as you stay at 2,700, we're above the Class Delta airspace that is their controlled airspace. Same thing with the McGuire. If you're coming back to November 1-4 and you fly over whatever it is, uh, 